Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Monday in the third week of Advent. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you in the Holy Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Our lesson is from the second letter of Peter, the first chapter, beginning at the first verse. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have received a faith as precious as ours through the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. May grace and peace be yours in abundance in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has given us everything needed for life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Thus, he has given us, through these things, His precious and very great promises, so that through them you may escape from the corruption that is in the world because of lust, and may become participants of the divine nature. For this very reason, you must make every effort to support your faith with goodness, and goodness with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with endurance, and endurance with godliness, and godliness with mutual affection, and mutual affection with love. For if these things are yours and are increasing among you, they keep you from being ineffective and unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For anyone who lacks these things is nearsighted and blind, and is forgetful of the cleansing of past sins. Therefore, brothers and sisters, be all the more eager to confirm your call and election. For if you do this, you will never stumble. For in this way, entry into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be richly provided for you. Here ends the lesson. This letter opens with the distinctive Greek and Hebrew greeting of grace and peace underscoring a sincere, prayerful wish for those who will read this letter. This blessing of grace and peace is more than a mere formula of greeting. These are virtues that come through God and an awareness of Jesus Christ as Lord. It is through this kind of personal knowledge of the Lord that God's grace and peace is received and experienced. Being fully informed about a life in Christ, followers of Jesus, are better able to combat false teachers who otherwise might lead them astray, claiming to have special knowledge or gnosis that in the end is not God. Peter taught that it is through Christ's divine power that followers of Jesus will find everything they need for life and godliness, which Christ called us to by His own glory and goodness. It is by virtue of God's glory that Christians can share in the Lord's victory over sin in this life and share in His glorious victory over death in eternal life. By participating in the Lord's divine nature, it becomes possible to become more like Christ. The Apostle is saying that it takes every bit of diligence and effort for a Christian, along with the enabling power of the Holy Spirit, to escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires, and live a virtuous life. It is through faith in Jesus Christ that Christians are able to be separate from all other people. Faith, goodness, and spiritual knowledge with one's passions under control is critical to faithfully living the Christian life. Christian growth results in spiritual effectiveness and productivity. Christians are to do more than merely possess these virtues. The word possesses 
emphasizes that these spiritual qualities belong to Christians. Effective and productive spirituality comes as these qualities grow in grace. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, in your goodness keep us, we pray, from all things that may hurt us, that we, being ready both in mind and body, may accomplish with free hearts those things which belong to your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 8 or 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings. Mm -hmm.